Hello and welcome to the 2021 Achievement Awards Ceremony. My name is David Muller and I am Dean for Medical Education at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. And I'm Marta Filizzola, I'm Dean of the Graduate School of Biomedical Sciences here at Sinai. As you can see, this year's ceremony is a little different. We are adapting to the times by using technology and practicing social distancing, having the award ceremony pre-recorded and live streamed today. Please participate by congratulating our honorees in the chat box and applauding at the bottom of your screen. You can also start a watch party to enjoy the ceremony virtually with your family and friends. We hope you are all safe and healthy and truly enjoy the program we put together. There will be two categories of awards being presented today. First, we will acknowledge the students graduating with distinctions or honors, and then we will announce the students who are receiving achievement awards. So without further ado, let's begin. At the Graduate School of Biomedical Sciences at Mount Sinai, all of our graduating PhD students have defended the thesis that include high impact research. The research has been published in the highest profile science journals with several students publishing multiple articles as the primary authors. Through these criteria, several PhD graduates were deemed to have gone above and beyond in their accomplishments and they defended their thesis with distinction. It is my pleasure to recognize this year's PhD students who are graduating with distinction in research and to thank the outstanding mentors with whom their achievement would not have been possible. Congratulations to Tyler, Joseph Di Stefano, Kevin J. Norman, Gloria Novikova, Felix Richter, and Shaili Bora. The delivery of outstanding healthcare depends on our progress in medical research. We are proud that all of our students in the MD program participate in research during their medical education. Many take the additional step of assuming the primary responsibility for carrying out their own project, earning first authorship on a resulting manuscript. When the manuscript is accepted for publication by a scientific journal having an impact factor score of two or greater, we recognize their accomplishment by granting the student distinction in research. Today, it is my pleasure to honor these 56 students and to thank the outstanding mentors without whom their achievements would not have been possible. Congratulations to the students earning this honor and our gratitude to their mentors for their support and dedication. Alexandra Zoe Agathis, Su Hyun An, Rohini Ravi Bahethi, Mark James Bailey, Raya Blum, Mark Joseph Casal, Rosanna Chang He, Fiona Ashley Desland, Brian Deutsch, Jennifer Elizabeth Long Diaz, Charlotte Morgan Ezradi, Jordan Heather Feingold, Stephanie Christine Gergudis, Corey Michael Gill, Brittany Chelsea Glassberg, Jacob William Glickman, Eliza Green, Gabriel Hernandez Meza, Sigal Israelov, Haley Page K. Cotterer, Remy Aria Kessler, Rebecca Ariel Clark, Emma Monty Lobel, Sarah Audrey McLean, Kevin Kian Mahmoudi, Husnish Brandon Majumdar, Yash Mayur Manyar, Maria Anna Mavramatis, Michael Sachs Miller, Sean Nakatani Niefert, Daniel Peter Newman, Christopher Park, Shervani Nishal Patak, John Lawrence Fail, Catherine Grace Phillips, Aishwarya Raja, Prashanth Rajarajan, Felix Richter, Samuel G. Ruckman, Lodo Sangmo, Charles Matthew Sankey, Manali Uday Sapri, Daniel L. Sasto, Stephanie Michelle Schoenholtz, Daniel Jordan Snyder, Lara Jane Sokoloff, Suleiman Salim Somani, Allison Taylor Thomas, Jared Christopher Tishelman, Amanda Robin Ramwell Tomlinson, Ranjan Upadai, Eileen Wang, Brittany Michelle Wenger, Masri K. Williams, Davis Zhu, and Jacob Aaron Remack Ziff. Congratulations to you all. Distinction in Medical Education recognizes those students who have taken leadership roles in medical education and have developed and implemented a scholarly project related to the field of medical education. Distinction in Medical Education is awarded to students who dedicate significant time to education, demonstrate excellence in teaching and or curricular development, and who have taken a scholarly approach to their work in education. Congratulations to the following students earning this honor. Alexandra Zoe Agathis, James Richard Blum, Jennifer Elizabeth Long Diaz, Jordan Heather Feingold, 
Caroline Florence Gentile, Brittany Chelsea Glassberg, Emma Monti Lobel, Sarah Audrey McLean, Yash Mayur Manyar, Denise Ilsa Rojas Marquez, Charles Matthew Sankey, Allison Taylor Thomas, and James Young. Distinction in Global Health recognizes students who have shown significant dedication to global health during their time at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai through scholarly work, education, leadership, and or service. We define global health work broadly as the area of study, research, and practice that places a priority on improving health and achieving equity in health for all people worldwide. This typically involves work with underserved populations and can be performed either abroad or in the United States. Congratulations to the following students earning this high honor. Eliza Green, Haley Page K. Cotterer, Sarah Audrey McLean, Usnish Brandon Majumdar, Aishwarya Raja, Samuel G. Ruckman, Charles Matthew Sankey, Neha Sika, Lara Jane Sokoloff, Sabidyasri Thapi, and Eileen Wang. The Gold Humanism Honor Society honors medical students, residents, role model physician teachers, and other exemplars recognized for demonstrated excellence in clinical care, leadership, compassion, and dedication to service. The following students were inducted into the Gold Humanism Honor Society at a special virtual ceremony in March 2021. This is a unique honor because these students were selected by their peers with whom they completed the third year of medical school. Help me congratulate the following members of the Gold Humanism Honor Society class of 2021. Alexander Zoe Agathis, Ali Matu Antoine, Eva Delap, Catherine Francis Donovan, Melissa Hill, Rebecca Ariel Clark, Michelle Lai, Leticia Wei Lee, Sarah Audrey McLean, Daniela Mikhailov, Michael Sachs Miller, Maria Anna Mavramatis, Rima Navalurkar, Jonathan Penn, Christopher Park, Shravani Nishal Patak, Allison Nell Prusen, Julio Cesar Ramos, Sanchita Ray Chowdhury, Samantha Joel Stein, and Rachel Ann Wilkinson. And I would also like to acknowledge the following students who were inducted into the Gold Humanism Honor Society in 2020 and who are graduating this year after taking a scholarly year. James Richard Blum, Jordan Heather Feingold, Brittany Chelsea Glassberg, Eliza Green, Samuel Ruckman, Charles Matthew Sankey, and Neha Sika. The next part of the ceremony will recognize students who have achieved excellence in a specific area or discipline and or who have taken on a leadership role in the advancement of equity and access while in medical and graduate school. There is a brief bio in your digital program that describes the accomplishments of these outstanding students. The Burton Dreyer Prize in Radiology and Biomedical Imaging Award is donated by the Department of Radiology in honor of Dr. Burton Dreyer. Dean for Clinical Affairs and System Chair of the Department of Radiology. This year's winner is Sayan Mana. While at Mount Sinai, Sayan participated in the Student COVID Pharmacy Task Force as a student leader at the downtown headquarters during the initial surge in early 2020. He participated in student council as a housing and academic IT representative and served as the head TA for the physiology course. He both published and reviewed articles in a number of disciplines, including radiology, ENT, neurosurgery, and medicine. Sayan will graduate with his MD degree and continue his residency training in radiology at Washington University in St. Louis. Congratulations, Sayan. The Dr. Harold Lamport Biomedical Research Prize is given to a student who has made significant contributions to the field of biomedical research while attending medical school. Dr. Harold Lamport majored in math and physics at Harvard, after which he did research in those fields prior to entering medical school. In 1951, he became a research professor of physiology at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai, where he remained until his death in 1975. In recognition of his achievements, he was posthumously named a Distinguished Service Professor. Mrs. Golden Lamport, his wife, was a librarian and administrator in the Department of Physiology. It is my honor to present the 2021 recipient of the Dr. Harold Lamport Biomedical Research Prize to Corey Michael Gill. While at Mount Sinai, Corey was awarded the AANS-CNS Joint Section on Tumors Neuro-Oncology Trainee Award. He was the recipient of the American Heart Association Medical Student Fellowship Grant, Mount Sinai Hospital Department of Obstetrics, Gynecology, and Reproductive Science Innovation Grant, the Friedman Brain Institute Pilot Grant, and Rare Disease Foundation Pilot Grant. During his time, Corey has published over 55 articles in peer-reviewed journals. Corey will graduate with his MD MSCR degree and continue his residency training in neurosurgery at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis. Congratulations, Corey. 
The Irwin Gallant MD Award for Service to the Community was established by Mrs. Lois Gallant to honor and recognize dedication to leadership, advocacy, and service within the community. These attributes were the hallmark of her husband's career at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. The award is made possible through donations made by the friends and family of her late husband, Dr. Irwin Gallant. This year's winner is Denise Ilse Rojas Marquez. While at Mount Sinai, Denise participated in the Human Rights and Social Justice Program, the East Harlem Health Outreach Partnership, was co-president of the Latino Medical Student Association, a member of the Mount Sinai Community Advisory Board, and continued her advocacy for undocumented individuals pursuing careers in the health professions. She was a 2018 TED Med speaker, where she discussed her journey to medicine and challenges in the healthcare system. Denise also completed a master's in public policy at the Harvard Kennedy School of Government and was a recipient of the 2016 Paul and Daisy Soros Fellowship for New Americans, the AAMC Herbert Nickens Award, and inducted to the Gold Humanism Honor Society. Denise will graduate with her MD degree and continue her residency training in emergency medicine at Boston Medical Center. Congratulations, Denise. It is my honor to present the Leonard Tao Humanism in Medicine Award, which is donated by the Arnold P. Gold Foundation and is given to the graduating student who best demonstrates the foundation's ideals of outstanding compassion in the delivery of care, respect for patients, their families, and healthcare colleagues, and clinical excellence. This year's recipient of the Leonard Tao Humanism in Medicine Award is Rachel Ann Wilkinson. While at Mount Sinai, Rachel participated in the student-run segregated care working group and the Mount Sinai Healthcare Equity Task Force. She's helped lead research demonstrating segregated healthcare between Medicaid-insured and privately-insured patients, as witnessed by medicine students on clerkships. This research has been used for advocacy across the health system and has also been presented at the Advocacy in Medicine Conference to the New York Physicians for a National Health Program and to the New York City Council. In addition, she's been involved in global health research in Kampala, Uganda, the Human Rights and Social Justice Program, and efforts to promote diversity in medical school admissions through Sinai's chapter of SNMA. This year, she was elected to the Gold Humanism Honor Society. Rachel will graduate with her MD degree and continue her residency training in pediatrics at Mount Sinai Hospital. Congratulations, Rachel. It is my pleasure to present the Mount Sinai Alumni Student Leadership Award on behalf of the Alumni Association and the Alumni Advisory Council to the outstanding student of, or trainee who exhibits exemplary leadership in organizing class activities and spirit, as well as demonstrating outstanding service to the Mount Sinai community. We are so pleased that we will soon be able to welcome today's recipients into the Mount Sinai Alumni community. This year we have two recipients. Our first recipient is James Richard Blum. While at Mount Sinai, James participated in and helped lead the Human Rights and Social Justice Program, where he worked on a project examining Medicaid in East Harlem, the Segregated Care Work Group, where he worked to eliminate segregated health care at Mount Sinai, and EHOP as Operations Chair and Pharmacy Chair. He also served on Student Council as President and Treasurer, the COVID-19 Student Workforce, and Sinai Students for Civic Engagement. James published eight articles in peer-reviewed journals and conducted projects on disparities in neonatal care and medical students' views on health policy and justice. He also spent a gap year pursuing a master's in public policy at Harvard Kennedy School. In 2020, James was elected into the Gold Humanism Honor Society. James will graduate with his MD MPP degree and continue his residency training in emergency medicine at Boston Medical Center. Congratulations, James. Our second recipient is Taylor Harrell. While at Mount Sinai, Taylor has served as president of the ISMMS Student National Medical Association, or SNMA, an executive committee member of Mount Sinai's Task Force to Address Racism, and student representative for Mount Sinai Hospital's Community Advisory Board. She has served as co-leader of the Doula Project and was recognized this past summer by New York Academy of Medicine as a Margaret E. Mahoney Fellow in Health Policy to support her research in maternal health disparities. In addition to leadership and research, Taylor continues her passion and commitment to mentorship through her involvement with Girls Empowered Through Medicine and Science, or GEMS, and the First Generation Scholars Program. Taylor is in her second year of medical school and will graduate with her MD degree in 2023. Congratulations, Taylor. Next, I have the pleasure to present the Patient Oriented Research Training and Leadership Thesis Award in Clinical Research, or PORTAL. The PORTAL program is a dual degree program and students graduate with their MD and MSCR after completion of a scholarly year of research. This award is granted in recognition of a student who has demonstrated mastery of the essence of clinical and translational research within a particular area of interest. This year, we have two recipients. Our first is Chloe Getrajman. While at Mount Sinai, Chloe enrolled in the PORTAL program to earn a Master's of Science in Clinical Research along with her medical degree. During her research year, Chloe worked with the Department of Anesthesiology 
on various clinical and translational research projects on postpartum hemorrhage and coagulation disorders of pregnancy. Chloe is most proud of her work at EHOPS Clinic, particularly her work as Chief Teaching Senior of the Women's Health Clinic. Chloe will graduate with MD and Masters of Science in Clinical Research degrees and will continue her residency training in obstetrics and gynecology at Mount Sinai Hospital. Congratulations, Chloe. Our second recipient is Jordan Heather Feingold. While at Mount Sinai, Jordan participated in Icon Be Well, founded the PEERS program and the Positive Medicine Nexus course, and served as a class representative and steering committee member of Student Council. She practiced as a mental health senior in EHOP, served on the admissions committee, became a TA for the Art and Science of Medicine program, and was a student advisor. Jordan conducted longitudinal research supported by the Portal Program in the IBD Center studying the gut-brain axis and studied the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the lives of healthcare workers in the Office of Wellbeing and Resilience. Jordan was also elected to the Gold Humanism Honor Society in 2020. Jordan will graduate with her MD and MSCR degrees and continue her residency training in psychiatry at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. Congratulations, Jordan. Our next awards are provided by the Department of Medical Education to recipients who exemplify and align with the school's mission. These awards celebrate students who have made lasting contributions to the culture of the school. Students are nominated by faculty and peers and are selected by the Achievement Awards Committee. The Dr. Barry Stimmel Award for Excellence in Medical Education is awarded to a graduating medical student who has contributed to the education and advancement of their fellow students and exemplified a commitment to and leadership in teaching and advancing medical education. This student has made lasting changes to the curriculum or learning environment. This year's recipient is Charles Matthew Senke. While at Sinai, Charles served in various leadership, education, public health, and community service roles. He has been a member of the Admissions Committee, participated in the LCME Self-Study Committee, enhanced opportunities for global health and health policy engagement, performed musically, designed and implemented curricula across several courses, performed health equity and medical education research, and led student efforts in Sinai's COVID-19 clinical trials and operations. During his NIH-funded research year, he assessed social determinant risk factors among emergency department patients and completed his MPH degree. This past year, Charles helped build regional healthcare coalitions, conducted health services research, and co-founded Sinai Center for Healthcare Readiness. Charles will graduate with his MD and MPH degrees and continue his residency training in emergency medicine at the Mount Sinai Hospital. Congratulations, Charles. The next award is the Dr. David K. McDonough Award for Diversity in Medical Education. This prize is awarded to the graduating medical student who has worked diligently to increase diversity in medicine and on our campus and has worked to create and support an environment where diversity and inclusion are valued. This year's recipient is Denise Ilse Rojas Marquez. Congratulations again, Denise. The Harold Elster Memorial Prize for Clinical Acumen is awarded to a graduating medical student for their clinical excellence, including patient communication skills, reasoning ability, teamwork, and medical knowledge. This year's recipient is Michael Sachs Miller. While at Mount Sinai, Michael participated in the Mount Sinai Human Rights Program, co-led the Human Rights and Social Justice Program, and volunteered with the COVID-19 student workforce. He published numerous articles in peer-reviewed journals for which he was awarded a distinction in research and was elected into the Gold Humanism Honor Society. Michael will graduate with his MD degree and continue his residency training in internal medicine at the Brigham and Women's Hospital at Harvard Medical School. Congratulations, Michael. The James Felt Award for Promotion of Social and Racial Justice is awarded to a graduating medical student who exemplifies the view of medicine as a socially just profession and has demonstrated engagement in and commitment to deconstructing and mitigating racism and bias in the school community and healthcare system. This year's recipient is James Richard Blum. Congratulations again, James. The Humanities and Medicine Program, founded in 1987 by Dr. Nathan Case, is based on the principle that a comprehensive liberal arts education is essential for both a lifetime of intellectual enrichment and a successful career in medicine. The program enhances the quality of a student's interactions with patients, families, and colleagues, leading to excellent clinical performance. Accordingly, the Judith and Nathan Case Humanities and Medicine Prize is awarded to two graduating students who were accepted via the FlexMed program and who exemplify the principles of the program. The award will recognize outstanding performance in clinical studies and diverse interests that impact the study and practice of medicine. The committee is encouraged to select awardees from a broad range of undergraduate majors, including traditional pre-medical sciences, 
computational sciences, and the humanities. This year we have three recipients. Our first is Chloe Getrajman. Congratulations again, Chloe. Our second recipient is Shravani Nisal Patak. While in Mount Sinai, Shravani participated as Vice President and Treasurer of Student Council as part of the Human Rights and Social Justice Scholars Program, American Medical Women Association Co-President, Doctors for America Co-President, South Asian Medical Students Association Co-Leader, among others. For her work, she has received a recognition as a Merit Scholar and a member of the Gold Humanism Honor Society, as well as an awardee of a Distinction in Research and the Student Council Appreciation Award. She's had the opportunity to publish her work in multiple fields and present at several conferences over the years, including the annual American Academy of Otolaryngology Head and Neck Surgery Conference. Shravani will graduate with her MD degree and continue her residency training in otolaryngology at Montefiore Albert Einstein in New York City. Congratulations, Shravani. Our last recipient is Rachel Ann Wilkinson. Congratulations again, Rachel. The Patricia Levinson Award for the Advancement of Women in Science pays tribute to the late Patricia Levinson, who was a Mount Sinai trustee for 34 years and was committed to the advancement of those underrepresented in medicine and science. The Patricia S. Levinson Center for Multicultural and Community Affairs at Mount Sinai seeks to eliminate health care disparities and improve the health of all populations through a diversified workforce, research, and policy. The Patricia Levinson Award honors a medical student who has contributed significantly to the advancement of women leaders in medicine and science and has worked toward gender equity in academic medicine. The awardee has a track record of advocating for the development of women leaders as well as enhancing the professional environment for women in medicine. This year we have two recipients. Our first is Efrat Bruck. While at Mount Sinai, Efrat worked for Khan Academy and created 30 MCAT preparation videos on topics in molecular biology, DNA, and genetics. Her videos have been published on the AAMC website, Khan Academy, and YouTube, accruing millions of views on the latter. She served as secretary of ICON's AMWA chapter for one year and published research with Sinai's Department of Maternal Fetal Medicine. Efrat is heavily involved in JOMA, the Jewish Orthodox Women's Medical Association, where she founded and leads their pre-med society, helping advance women from backgrounds underrepresented in medicine. Efrat will graduate with her MD degree and continue her residency training in anesthesiology here at the Mount Sinai Hospital. Congratulations, Efrat. Our second recipient is Jennifer Elizabeth Long Diaz. Jennifer will graduate with her MD and PhD degree and continue her residency training in internal medicine at UCLA Medical Center. Congratulations, Jennifer. The Office of Wellbeing and Resilience Medical Student Wellbeing Leadership Award was established to recognize a graduating medical student who has contributed significantly to the advancement of medical students' well-being. This will be the first year we are making this award, and we are very pleased to present the inaugural award to Jordan Heather Feingold. Congratulations again, Jordan. The next few awards are based on students' academic achievement and are made possible by generous gifts from thoughtful donors. The Dr. Alan F. Guttmachter Obstetrics and Gynecology Prize has been donated by Mrs. Ann Loeb, Dr. Guttmachter's daughter, as well as the Department of Obstetrics, Gynecology, and Reproductive Sciences. It is given to the student who has demonstrated the greatest proficiency in obstetrics and gynecology, particularly in the fields of fertility and sterility. And this year, the winner is Chloe Getrajman. Congratulations again, Chloe. The Barry Kohler Award for Excellence in Clinical Medicine is donated by the Samuel Bronfman Department of Medicine in honor of Dr. Barry Kohler, former chair of the Department of Medicine, and given to a student who demonstrates the greatest proficiency and aptitude for clinical medicine and patient care. This year, we are very proud to present this award to recipient Eliza Green. While at Mount Sinai, Eliza participated in the Mount Sinai Human Rights Program, as well as, as a clinical manager and student director, and took a scholarly year to build a telemental health expansion program of the MSHRP. She also led the Medical Student Ethics Organization, conducted research in Kampala, Uganda, and was elected into the Gold Humanism Honor Society. Eliza will graduate with an MD and continue her residency training in internal medicine primary care at the Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. Congratulations, Eliza. The Mrs. David A. Dryling Surgery Prize in memory of her mother, Florence L. Oppenheimer, is an award that is generously donated by Mrs. Muriel Dryling and is given to a student who has shown scholarly excellence and will be going into a surgical specialty. The recipient of this year's prize is Alexandra Zoe Agathis. While at Mount Sinai, Alexandra has spearheaded numerous research projects, including a prospective quality of life study focused on geriatric patients undergoing cholecystectomies. She has published three first author articles in the American Journal of Surgery, American Surgeon, and Surgery Open Science, and co-authored additional articles in academic medicine and pancreas. 
Alexander presented her work at the annual Academic Surgical Congress in 2019 and 2020 and won a Best Poster recognition at the school's Medical Student Research Day in 2019. Additionally, Alexander actively served the community as an organization leader of the Surgery Interest Group, the Medical Discovery of Careers After School STEM program, the Icon School of Medicine's COVID-19 student workforce, and ISMMS Student Council as a class representative. She was inducted into the Gold Humanism Honor Society this year. Alexander will graduate with her MD degree with Distinction in Research and Distinction in Medical Education. She will continue her residency training in general surgery at the Mount Sinai Hospital. Congratulations, Alexandra. The George James Epidemiology Award is donated by the Department of Preventive Medicine and is given to a graduating student who is actively engaged in matters of preventive and community health. This year's award winner is Isosa Amorogbi. While at Mount Sinai, Isosa served on the MedStart Executive Board, an enrichment program that exposed middle school students to different aspects of the medical field. He co-founded a pipeline and pitch day program through the Diversity Innovation Hub to support the development of innovative ideas addressing social determinants of health. Isosa was involved in a number of clinical research projects culminating in publications and presentations at national conferences. He also served as an application screener for the Medical School Admissions Committee, a teaching assistant for Molecular, Cellular, and Genomics and the Structures courses, and a senior tutor. Isosa will graduate with his MD, MPH degrees and continue his residency training in otolaryngology head and neck surgery at Mount Sinai Hospital. Congratulations, Isosa. The Dr. Howard Rappaport Pediatric Award is given to the student who best demonstrates excellence and accomplishment in clinical investigation or scholarship in the field of pediatrics. This year's award goes to Samuel Gus Ruckman. While at Mount Sinai, Gus participated in the Mount Sinai Human Rights Program as a student director, served as an access case manager, and co-created the program's national remote evaluation network during a scholarly year. He conducted research with AMPATH in Eldoret, Kenya, worked at the Arnhold Institute for Global Health, and was a Mount Sinai GLG Global Health Scholar. His honors include the U.S. Public Health Service Physician Professional Advisory Committee's Excellence in Public Health Award, election to the Gold Humanism Honor Society, and the American Heart Association's Student Scholarship in Cardiovascular Disease. Also while at Sinai, Gus published several first author research manuscripts and op-eds and presented at conferences on diverse topics in global health, human rights, ethics, and clinical internal medicine pediatrics. Gus will graduate with his MD degree and continue his residency training in internal medicine pediatrics at the University of Colorado. Congratulations, Gus. The Jeffrey Modell Clinical Immunology Prize was made possible by Mr. Fred and Mrs. Vicki Modell and the Jeffrey Modell Foundation a public charity devoted to early and precise diagnosis, meaningful treatments, and cures through clinical basic research, physician education, patient support, advocacy, public awareness, and newborn screening. This year's recipient is Ranjan Upadei. Ranjan will graduate with his MD and PhD degree and continue his residency training in internal medicine and research here at the Mount Sinai Hospital. Congratulations, Ranjan. The Dr. Joseph R. Jagust Anesthesiology Award was donated by the Jagust family and is given to a graduating student who has demonstrated excellence in the field of anesthesiology, clinically, academically, or through research. This year's recipient is Sigal Israelov. While at Mount Sinai, Sigal participated in various activities at the intersection of quality improvement and advocacy, including EHOB Consulting, the Student High Value Care Committee, and the Diversity Innovation Hub she co-founded the DIH Connections event series. She spent a scholarly year as part of the value and safety team at NYC Health and Hospitals, working to improve care quality across the city's safety net system. These efforts were nationally recognized with awards from America's Essential Hospitals, AAHPM, SHM, and SGIM. Sigal will graduate with her MD degree with a distinction in research and continue her residency training in anesthesiology, staying on at the Mount Sinai Hospital. Congratulations, Sigal. The Dr. M. Ralph Kaufman Psychiatry Prize is given to a graduating student who exemplifies the qualities of academic excellence, has shown a passion for the field of psychiatry, and who has taken a compassionate approach to patient care. This year's recipient of the Dr. M. Ralph Kaufman Psychiatry Prize is Jordan Heather Feingold. Congratulations again, Jordan. 
The Milton C. Engel MD Award in Geriatric Medicine is named after a longtime geriatrician at Mount Sinai and was made possible through a generous gift from David D. and Betty Cooper Wallerstein. Mr. and Mrs. Wallerstein's gift especially honors the dedicated and excellent care Dr. Engel provided for their parents, Adele and Joseph Cooper, and Victoria and Adolf Wallerstein. This year we have two recipients. Our first is Emma Adele Rosenbluth. While at Mount Sinai, Emma participated in EHOP as a Spanish interpreter, clinical manager, senior clinician, and teaching senior. She was also active in the Mount Sinai Human Rights Program, the Medical Student Training and Aging Research, or MSTAR program, co-led the Medical Spanish Program, and served on both the Promotions Committee and the LCME Self-Study Committee. She completed a scholarly year in the Division of Liver Diseases, primarily studying non-alcoholic fatty liver disease in pregnancy, resulting in multiple presentations and peer-reviewed publications. Emma will graduate with her MD degree and continue her residency training in internal medicine at Northwestern. Congratulations, Emma. Our second recipient is Suleiman Salim Somani. While at Sinai, Suleiman co-founded and led algorithm development at Monogram Orthopedics, a startup that automates 3D printed patient personalized implant generation for robotic total joint replacement surgery. Through this venture, he has been issued one patent with another one pending and helped raise over $20 million in funding so far. He has also been an active researcher, having published over 40 publications with four as first author. Suleiman served as a reviewer for Jack Cardiovascular Imaging and Frontiers in Medicine and received the Sinai Innovations Trainee Innovation Idea Award this fall. Suleiman will become the first physician in his family, graduating with an MD degree and continuing his residency training in internal medicine at Stanford University. Congratulations, Suleiman. The Dr. Morris B. Bender Award in Clinical Neurology is for a graduating medical student who has demonstrated outstanding performance, exceptional talent, and dedication to excellence in neurology, all consistent with the role model standards set for neurology at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai by Dr. Morris Bender. This year's recipient is Caroline Florence Gentile. While at Sinai, Caroline participated in the student interest group in neurology as a co-leader and EHOP as a teaching senior, and the Learning Communities Institute as co-chair. She was also a mentor for MedDocs and Sinai Big Sibs, and a senior tutor for Sinai Peer Tutoring. Caroline contributed in multiple clinical research projects within the Department of Neurology at the Mount Sinai Hospital, which resulted in two first author publications in peer-reviewed journals. Caroline will graduate with her MD degree and continue her residency training in neurology at the Hospital of the University of Pennsylvania. Congratulations, Caroline. Dr. Stephen B. Tamarin was a family physician on the Upper West Side and one of the first family physicians to practice in Manhattan. He was a lifelong advocate for the development of family medicine in New York City and cared for his patients for many years at what is now Mount Sinai West. One of his dreams was the establishment of a Department of Family Medicine at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. The Stephen B. Tamarin, MD Memorial Award for Excellence in Family Medicine is given to a student who has worked most diligently to develop and support the Family Medicine Group at the Icon School of Medicine and to promote family medicine as a specialty choice for medical students throughout their training. This year's recipient is Jesse Tyler McChain. While at Mount Sinai, Tyler participated in the Primary Care Scholars Program and Interact Primary Care Clerkship. In EHOP's free clinic, Students for a National Health Program, the Family Medicine Interest Group, and the New York State Academy of Family Physicians, where he served as the state's student delegate to the AAFP National Conference. His research focuses on disparities in health and healthcare delivery experiences by homeless individuals. Tyler will graduate with his MD degree and continue his residency training in family medicine at the Family Medicine Residency of Idaho. Congratulations, Tyler. The next group of awards represent students' achievements while in graduate school. Dr. Filizola, take it from here. Thank you, Dr. Moller. The Graduate School of Biomedical Sciences at Mount Sinai confers doctorate degrees in biomedical sciences, neuroscience, and clinical research, as well as master's degrees in public health, biomedical sciences, biomedical data science, biostatistics, clinical research, healthcare delivery leadership, and genetic counseling. They are also home to over 600 postdoctoral trainees. 
Our graduate students and postdocs constitute the main workforce of research programs at Mount Sinai, and they therefore play a fundamental role in the outstanding contributions that Mount Sinai has made and continues to make to biomedical research and its translation into personalized medicine. It is with enormous pride that we introduce the next series of awards to recognize the great accomplishments of PhD students at Mount Sinai. The Graduate School's Advancement of Women in Science Award honors a graduate student who has contributed significantly to the advancement of women in science and has worked to achieve gender equity in academia and the research community. The awardee has a track record of advocating for the development of women leaders as well as enhancing the professional environment for women in the sciences. The recipient of this year's award is Kavia de Valaconda Russo. While at Mount Sinai, Kavia participated in the Women in Science Training Group and was its president for three years. She was also a member of the Sinai Women in Science Steering Committee, the Friedman Brain Institute Diverse Brain Steering Committee, and a mentor for the First Generation Scholars Group. Kavia was a recipient of an NIH T32 Fellowship and the American Heart Association Predoctoral Fellowship, as well as the Friedman Brain Institute Brains Award and Student Council's Leadership Award. Kavia will graduate this year with her PhD in Neuroscience degree. Congratulations, Kavia. The Arthur Cederbaum Mentoring by Graduate Student Award recognizes outstanding mentoring by a graduate student where the mentoring may happen in the laboratory, the classroom, the community, or all of the above. It recognizes the importance of mentoring in both the professional and the educational goals of the schools and in the realm of peer-to-peer -peer advice as students progress into and through our programs. This award is named in honor of the outstanding mentoring provided by Dr. Arthur Siderbaum. Dr. Siderbaum is a most accomplished and inspirational educator and has had a distinguished career in the field of cellular metabolism, a topic at the cornerstone of his teaching efforts. Dr. Siderbaum has had a long-standing and celebrated history of inspiring our students through his outstanding mentoring. This year, we have two recipients. The first recipient is Roxana Messias. While at Mount Sinai, Roxana participated in several mentoring and leadership activities. She was a mentor for the First Generation Scholars Group, a member of the Student Affairs Committee, a member of the Friedman Brain Institute's Diverse Brain Steering Committee, and a co-chair of a Professional Development for Women in Science. Roxana was also the recipient of an NIH T32 Fellowship, the Autism Speaks Weatherstone Predoctoral Fellowship, and the NIH Ruth Kirchstein National Research Service Award Individual Fellowship, or F31. Roxana was also selected for the Society of Neuroscience Scholars Program as an NSP Associate and as a Yale Scientia Academy Fellow. Most recently, Roxana was the recipient of the Student Council's Leadership Award. Roxana will graduate with her PhD degree and continue her efforts in the EI in STEM policy and higher education in foundation positions. Congratulations, Roxana. The second recipient is Turner Baker. While at Mount Sinai, Turner participated in and initiated the various innovation programs within Mount Sinai, winning the 2017 Health Hackathon, serving as a hackathon program organizer for 2018 and 2019, and helping found the Targeted Healthcare Innovation Fellowship in 2020. He served as a co-author and entrepreneurial lead for the NSF Innovation Corps and was the primary investigator for CTSA for the Technology Award and the Tufts JHU Trial Innovation Design Lab. Turner also founded his own consulting firm, Neoteric Consulting Group, which assists early stage life science startups on short term consulting projects. His doctoral work will have led to six first author publications and multiple medical device patents. Turner will graduate with his PhD degree and plans to join Mount Sinai as a faculty within the Department of Neurosurgery. Congratulations, Turner. As leaders in the scientific community, our graduate students have the capacity to open minds outside our institution to what we do and what they have to the potential to do. Our advocates not only spread the word, but inspire the next generation of young people to pursue a STEM career. The Graduate School's Award for Science Advocacy recognizes these activities by a graduating PhD student. This year's recipient is Denise Krut. While at the school, Denise received the National Science Foundation Graduate Research Fellowship and published her thesis work on the role of time representation in decision-making in scientific reports. 
She was a co-president for mentoring in neuroscience discovery at Sinai, an outreach organization that exposes children to the STEM field of neuroscience and taught an introductory neuroscience course at the Patrick Henry Preparatory. She also served as an e-board member of Women in Science and a big sister with the big brothers, big sisters of America. In 2020, she received the Student Award for Excellence in Community Service. Denise will graduate with her PhD degree in neuroscience and plans to continue her computational neuroscience training. Congratulations, Denise. The Excellence in Public Health Award is given to an MD and PhD student who demonstrates commitment, dedication and leadership to the field of public health. The student exceeds expectations in advancing the mission of the graduate program in public health, in preventing disease, protecting the environment and promoting good health in partnership with the communities we serve. This year's recipient is Charles Matthew Sankey. Congratulations again, Charles. The Medical Scientist Training Program Award was established to recognize an MD PhD student for outstanding contributions to the MD PhD program and over to Mount Sinai. This year's recipient is Jennifer Elizabeth Long Diaz. Congratulations again, Jennifer. Each year, the graduate school recruits additional classes with emphasis on academic and research excellence, diversity in all its form, and a desire to continue to strive to be better. This cannot be accomplished without the participation of the students themselves, many of whom devote countless hours of unselfish service to the graduate school community. Dr. Mickey Rifkin, a former associate dean of the graduate school, embodied all that has developed this community. Dr. Rifkin was at the center of the generation of new programs as well as new modalities of education and recruitment, while at the same time ensuring that all were accountable for their actions. Mickey was a doer and exemplified the fire in the belly that she reminded us was essential for success at what we do. I'm delighted to award this year's Mickey Rifkin Graduate School Service Award to Shika Nair. While at Mount Sinai, Shika participated in many leadership initiatives through Student Council leading the PhD leadership meeting and advocating for women in STEM through Women in Science and Medicine. She was the recipient of the Women in Science Travel Award last year and recently published her dissertation work in Nature. Shika will graduate with her PhD degree and continue working on therapeutic strategies for Crohn's disease with Dr. Judy Cho. Congratulations, Shika. The Social and Racial Justice Award to a graduate student honors a graduating student from any PhD program who has engaged in and has been committed to promoting diversity and inclusion and to mitigating racism and bias in our school and community. This year's recipient is Roxana Messias. Congratulations again, Roxana. The Terry Ann Krulch Doctoral Dissertation Prize is given annually to a PhD candidate who has successfully defended the most outstanding thesis during this academic year, as determined by a competitive selection process. A faculty committee reviewed the nominations and selected the recipients. The prize is donated by the graduate school and is named after Dr. Terry Ann Krulch, a former dean of the graduate school and the founding director of the Mount Sinai MD PhD program and the founding director of Mount Sinai's post-baccalaureate research education program or PREP. In her 48 years of tenure as faculty member at Mount Sinai, Dr. Krulch, an accomplished scientist and valued mentor and teacher, fostered the countless outstanding graduates of our school who have gone on to distinguished careers. This year's recipient of the Terry Ann Krulch Doctoral Dissertation Prize is Connor Gruber. While at Mount Sinai, Connor worked in the laboratory of Dr. Dusan Bogunovic, studying genetic causes of rare pediatric autoinflammatory diseases. For this work, he was awarded the funding by the Mindich Child Health Institute and the National Institute of Child Health and Human Development. Ultimately, his research culminated in the publication of four first author manuscripts. During this time, he also served as a TA for the BMS course and volunteered in a student-run free clinic. Connor will graduate with his PhD degree and will resume his medical training at Mount Sinai. Congratulations, Connor. And that brings us to the end of the 2021 MD, PhD, and dual degree achievement ceremony. Tomorrow, we will honor each of our graduates individually during our virtual commencement ceremony. In advance of tomorrow's official ceremony, we would like to recognize everyone's accomplishments and congratulate all who are receiving a degree. 
We would like to take a moment to thank our uh, donors and the Monsignor community for all the wonderful awards and prizes given out today. We would also like to take this opportunity to extend our congratulations to all of our awardees and most especially to all the families and friends who have supported our awardees over these busy years. We look forward to joining everyone tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. to view the commencement ceremony live stream. But before we go, we would like to share a few special messages from family and friends for our graduates. We hope you enjoy and congratulations again. We just wanted to say congratulations from the Wilkinson household to my sister, Rachel, and all the other awardees. Keep doing amazing things. Congratulations, Dr. Gus Ruckman and all your fellow graduates on your many impressive accomplishments. Best wishes. Congrats, Rachel. Congratulations, Charles. I am proud of you. Hi, Charles Sankey. Congratulations. We are all happy. We wish you the best. Congratulations, Charles. Continue the good work. Congratulations, Tyler, on your Family Medicine Award. Um, Oh, I've just been so impressed and inspired by how, what your journey in medicine has been. And it's no surprise to me that your department has recognized you in such a way. Um, I'm so excited for your future. I know your patients are gonna have the best care from you. And um, I'm so excited for what your future brings. Congratulations to all award recipients. Special congratulations to our very own Charles Sankey for your hard work and accomplishments. Charles, we can't wait to see what comes next. Congratulations, congratulations Charles. Charles. James, congratulations on your leadership award. I'm very proud of you and love you very much, James. Congrats, Taylor. Thank you for your fearless leadership on SMA. We're so proud of you. You really deserve this. Congratulations, congratulations Tyler. Tyler. Good luck in Boise. Proud of you. We're so, so happy, happy for you, Michael, and, and the doctor you're, you're about to become tomorrow. tomorrow. We, we love you always and wish you and your classmates all the best. Hi, Efrat. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. All of us on the Selby side of the family are, are very proud of you. Hi, Denise. We're so happy for you. Winning the Science Advocacy Award is a fantastic honor. Many, many congrats. Congratulations, Denise, a wonderful accomplishment, and we're so proud of you. Congrats on the award, Denise. We're so proud of you. Taylor, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. This award is so well deserved, and I have great expectations for your future. Hello, Rachel, this is your Uncle Mike. Be blessed, we are proud of you. Keep on keeping on. Hey Tyler son, congratulations on your graduation. We're very proud of you here at the clinic and know you will be successful. Bye bye. Congratulations, congratulations Tyler. Tyler. We're so proud of you and all that you've accomplished. And we're really excited about the next stop in Boise. Family, Family Medicine, Medicine rocks. rocks! Hey Taylor, I just wanted to join everyone else in congratulating you on this award. It's really well deserved. I saw all the hard work and all the time you put in over the past year, and I'm really happy to really appreciate it. Congratulations, Chloe, and all the other award recipients. We are so proud of you. And we love you. Yay! Liza, you are a inspiration and a never-ending source of love and joy, adventure, and kindness for us. Congratulations, we're so proud of you, and we love you. Congrats. Hey Tyler, just wanted to send you a quick message saying congratulations. We know you've worked so, so hard for this and we're so thrilled for you and for all your successes. And we can't wait to see what your future holds. Congrats, bye. Rachel, you, you are our sunshine, our, our doctor, doctor sunshine. You, you make it healthy when the skies are gray. You always know, dear, how much we love you. We're so very proud of you today. Congratulations, Dr. Rachel Wilkinson from the McShane. I'm sending congratulations to the one and only Rachel Wilkinson, who draws out the beauty and the goodness in the world around her with hard work and a really incredible mind. Congratulations, baby girl. We're all here and we're so very proud of you. We, we love you! Hi, Tyler. Congratulations on your award. I'm really proud of you. I know you've worked hard for this and I can't wait to see what you do in family medicine. 
Hey Rachel, congratulations on receiving the Humanism and Medicine Award. So well deserved and you're gonna be an amazing physician. Hey everyone, hey Rachel. My name is Martin, her cousin from Jamaica. I'm really proud of you for winning this award. I wish that we could be there again to celebrate this day with you, but we're there in spirit. Hi Tyler, this is Ron and Mary Kay. We wanted to congratulate you on this gigantic um, moment and um, we hope that you have a fabulous career. Congratulations, Tyler. It's a magnificent accomplishment. You did a great job. Hopefully we'll see you when you move back out west. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Congratulations, Congratulations on this huge accomplishment. Go Chicago! So, so proud, proud of you and so excited as this new, new journey, journey begins. begins. Big, Big hugs. hugs! Hi, Afra. Congratulations. We're so proud of all your amazing achievements. We miss you. Hugs and kisses from across the Atlantic. And from Nava. Congratulations, Rachel, on your award. I could not think of a more fitting award for you. Keep up the good work. Dr. Mish! Congratulations, Mike. Hi, Caroline, it's your sister. I just wanted to say congratulations on graduating medical school. I'm so proud of you, and I can't wait to see the awesome doctor that you become. Hi, Tyler, this is Brent. And Sherry. And Sherry. And Ralph. Tyler, we're so proud of you on your graduation. We know you're gonna make a fantastic doctor. You've done so much to help Brent and our family. We can't wait to see what you'll do in helping the rest of the world. We love you very much. Very much. Mwah. Mwah. See you, Tyler. Congratulations! That's perfect. Yeah, you! Yeah. Congratulations, Turner. We're super proud of you. You did a great job, and we're really, really excited to see that you made it. And you're fulfilling your dream from career day 19 years ago. Woo! -hoo! Taylor, we are so proud of you. Not only do you look out for our people, you look out for all people, and that is why you're so deserving of this award. Hi Taylor, congratulations on your Student Leadership Award. I'm so proud of you and I'm looking forward to your bright future. Congratulations to my new fiance, Rachel, for this award. Rachel, you've worked so hard to make at Mount Sinai a more equitable place. I love you very much and I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, Dr. Gus Ruckman and the Mount Sinai class of 2021. Congratulations! Yay!